Okay, this is just a really quick video that I wanted to put together um, after tearing apart my Pentax WG2 camera. I used it in an underwater photo competition recently and through a combination of stupidity and hubris, I took it too deep about eight meters past its recommended uh, depth rating, which is 12 meters. I took it to about 20, it flooded, and so I had a trash camera. Uh, my dad encouraged me to tear it apart just to see what I could learn. And I did, and it was fun. But one of the more interesting things that I learned was actually how the zoom element um, inside the camera worked. Now, you can see that the front back profile of this camera is pretty thin. And I always wondered actually how it could accomplish any level of optical zoom um, without a lens sticking out the front that you, know, that you would see on a traditional DSLR. So it was always kind of a mystery to me. When I tore it apart, Apart from finding the entire thing corroded with um, salt water and, and shit, um, what I found was this. And this is the lens element uh, that's at the heart of the camera. So it just, it sits here behind this protective window. Um, anyway, so how this is actually designed is you've got a lens here, and then there's a 45 degree mirror which then takes the light and sends it through this set of uh, lens elements here, out this window at the end. And so that's where your two thirds inch CMOS sensor sits. Really pretty, but it's a piece of trash now. Um, what I found really interesting about this and wanted to share was this is actually how the zoom is created in a thin camera like this. Three of these four lens elements are all movable and instead of having the light come in and having a lens that sticks out in front of it that you use to adjust your focus and adjust your zoom level um, it actually brings the light in and turns it sideways has the image sensor over here and the movement of these elements inside is how it accomplishes a zoom so if you have a WG 1, 2, or 3 by Pentax or I think a WG 10 uses the same basic system. Um, this is what the inside of your camera looks like. And it's one of those things that, uh, unless it's absolutely trashed, you would never take it apart because you don't want to compromise its ability to stay waterproof. But that's what it looks like. Cool stuff.